ladies and gentlemen, today is the day you, yes you, have all been waiting for. Yes indeed, today is Piston Bowl Day baby, ooh yes, finally, holy mother of um, excessive over detailing. So, you guys gave beautiful feedback to my dog Rossing here. I love you. <laughs> you were so nice. Um, you said you loved every little bit of it. A lot of you guys said, ah, oh, yeah, but dog, you know, you have a big spoon in the whole thing, though. You know, piston bolts are fast, man. <laughs> piston bolts are fast. People are not going to see all these details. Yeah, but, you know, remember, guys, hermits are derps. You know, they're going to die a lot. Some people, you know, really die a lot. <laughs> that was not the death. But, you know, I think I, I have like 150 deaths because I just don't care or even more. And, you know, people will come by here more often. And eventually, every time they ride down here, they'll pick up a new detail. Right? That's the idea. So it never gets boring. And maybe if they really want to check it out, they can just get out of the piston bolt and check things out. And also, you guys uh, reminded me of a few hermits we left out. For example, stress. We need stress monster, everybody said. That's true. Um, may, and a suggestion was uh, maybe, you know, put her here to the snow golem. So it looks like she's helping to build a snowman there. Good idea. And, you know, she's also with Iskal there and so on. That works. And, oh yeah, here. Have a look at iJevin before some zombie Pikmin jumps into the uh, boat again. Doesn't he look cute? <laughs> People said maybe put him in, a, put him swimming. Then was suggesting I should put Endermites in the boats, block it uh, this way and so on. I don't know. Maybe we can throw two rabbits in there. Uh, that would be something. Small rabbits, you know, um, just to block the the, uh, the possibility for the Pikmin to enter. It would kind of be funny as well. Kind of Jevin rowing about with some bunnies um, doesn't make much sense and then uh, there were a few other names you mentioned uh, of hermits i forgot and uh, funnily enough i also forgot myself <laughs> with this whole thing uh, you guys reminded me about that too that's true i actually really forgot about myself um, well i guess that's not too much of a bad sh thing just shows you know where your priorities lay i guess um, but I thought, you know, here where the piston bolt goes into the wall, we will have, I will have a little installation that kind of blends over, um, probably some sort of landscape as well, like a rocky formation, and maybe on there, you know, we can place some of the remaining hermits, including me, in nice little postures, uh, so you ride towards them. Um, that uh, would uh, definitely be something, but yeah, I'll take care of that when I'm back from my vacation. Um, now, today, I finally want to do piston bolting. So, we're going to um, bang out the diagonal piston bolt forward, connect to the elevator, and if you have enough time, you also do the backward part towards the hub upstairs. So, let me prepare a little bit here. I, uh, first of all, want to do one thing. So, here the pathway where the piston will mainly run on for now. We will make sure to kind of spruce that up a bit. Uh, at the moment, it's all andesite, and I want to go in and you know throw some some other block uh, variations in, polished andesite, and also some some normal stone, just to uh, to get a bit more uh, variance in the whole look of things. And then um, yeah, we slap down a beautiful diagonal piston bolt epicness. I love piston bolts. I guess you you can tell. I'm a bit bit hype. Also, oh, 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 dude, today we might have trapped the jangler. You'll find out about that too in this episode. Oh, yeah. All right, so I have the tracks in all the way back. Uh, it didn't take too long, this is not too long of a piston bolt here. And now we need to actually do the piston bolting. Um, what we need to do is, so here will be the landing dr uh, zone um, where our friend friends of the hermit drop down here on this hay bale so they don't take no damage and um, probably expand the hay bale zone here a little bit and then they pretty much just stand here and um, you yeah, can press a button right there um, to trigger this thing and it will dispense a minecart and yeah um, pretty much 
off we go then. Um, I'll probably have another launch button somewhere or so. We'll figure something out. Something along these lines. Probably dispense a minecart uh, automatically um, all the time uh, whenever one gets launched here. And yeah, then now we need to throw in the pistons and they gotta sit like this and we gotta have glass blocks right there. Um, and then the, these glass blocks would extend and create the yeah, forward momentum. So yeah, now I'm just gonna throw in another layer of andesite and stuff here, another diagonal line where the pistons sit on and then yeah, we can do the redstone and be happy. This will be cool. Um, just hoping I will not get much gas spawning anymore because yeah, this thing is 100% spawn proof as it should be. You know, we're gonna carpet uh, some of the areas, cannot spawn on glass and um, that should be fine then. Uh, technically, these blocks here those uh, can be blocks that will would spawn mobs. So, yep, here we need to remove these and uh, most likely replace them with glass. Um, that would be probably, would be looking quite nice now as I think about it. Because, yeah, in these gaps actually things could spawn and, yeah, mess things up terribly. So, yeah, we gotta definitely spawn proof that. Or maybe throw in slabs here. Would probably also look cool. Let me quickly check. Um, let's get some normal slabs um, in the chest hell here. Uh, yeah, there we are. Have a few. Yeah, we just throw in the slabs there in these gaps. I think that would also look really cool. Like that. Yeah. And here too. Yeah, I think that looked that looked decent, and it'll make it spawn proof. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Um. Whoops. No, I did not just do that. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I have to do the tracks again. All right. Ah. <laughs> Sweet, I got all the pistons in, all the glass, and yeah, I moved everything down one block. I just realized I had to move it down, but yeah, not a biggie, we caught it early. And yeah, now it's time to redstone wire everything up. Um, so we said here will be our landing area, and we have it with hay bales, so it's a nice impact here, no damage. And what we need to do is now we need to hit these two blocks um, with a redstone line. And yeah, I was thinking the room here would probably, let me put some blocks down <coughs> where we can pull our redstone lines out. We can hide it nicely behind the walls, um, uh, something like that. Okay, and then here would be our hay bales, uh, like so. Okay, <coughs> yep. And then we just need, and then here we would have wall. So let's say here this would be the, the back wall of the room. So that now means we just need to get the redstone signal out here and into there. Um, so yeah, we just come up like this. Let's place some solid blocks. Jup, 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 jup. And then, yeah, I think that is connected. Just like this will be good enough, and then the signal moves on. You can see, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. the delay is there. So first this gets hit, uh, then we come through and yeah, keep on pushing, and it doesn't need to be an offset. Perfect. Yeah, and now I just need to repeat this pattern. So pretty much what happens now? Um, I will use slabs here. What you do is, so the signal comes into here, right, and then you just keep on looping it around. So you would do this, then we had andesite block here, and this, and you do repeater, um, redstone dot, and then of course you need another solid block behind here to put the power into the two pistons, and so on and so forth, and then yeah, we just repeat this. So over here, and that also shows that part of our railing here is actually part of the piston bolt, so we uh, have it perfectly fitting in here. And of course, we need to wire up the other side too. So let's see, I got some stuff going on here. It needs to be removed anyways. That trash here, so yeah, here we're coming out there. So. Yeah, let's just grab the signal 
And yeah, we need to loop it into here. See, so do I have some more ender side? Real quick. Um, pretty sure I have some. Although, wait, this is not visible at all. It can be. It can be literally these blocks here. It doesn't matter. It's behind the scenes. So here, and then around here. So we do this. Um, plum plum, and something like that. Okay. Redstone up to here. Okay, looking good. Press the button. Both sides fire. And yeah, now we just need to repeat this pattern all the way down. Um, and hopefully, yeah, everything works. And here, here, um, I will place slabs, anyways, all the way. So it looks really clean. So. Yeah, and then we have carpet on the outer lane and a bit of carpet in here. It will look really clean and, and super nice. And you have a good angle, it's roughly this height where you're riding it, so you get a nice view on everything. Okay, cool. Let me do some more redstone wiring. Behold the mighty piston bolt. Oh yeah. All right, boom, player drops down here, hops in minecart, turns around, pow! Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Flawless engineering. Boom, bang. So, if the transition works, we make it all the way up. The piston bolt is insanely fast and you literally see nothing of all the detail work we did. And it's gonna take you several rides to get through here. So, um, now um, we need to carpet things and so on. I haven't made up my mind about the colors. And there is one thing. Yeah, and here minecart gets automatically dispensed, and here we have a, a minecart loading system, and there's a lot of hoppers and things going on. It maybe we should block this so we don't drop anything in there, you know. And then minecart automatically uh, is ready again for the next turn to fall down, and then yeah, they would jump in. So yeah, there you see our arch enemies, zombie pigmen close to the track, and um, they will not be able to spawn directly on the track, but of course in our in our scenes we created, right? So, yeah, we need to find a good way to keep him out of here. Um, so that they can't walk in where, yeah, where they shouldn't be. So, probably we will have, yeah, see, there he walks in and if he's there, that it will block the minecart and ruin everything. So probably we'll have glass blocks on top here too. And the player had, um, will be in glass blocks then it should be no problem and that would prevent zombies from walking in here because i don't want to have fences here or anything and it will be uh, next to impossible or impossible to make you know all these little biomes here uh, spawn proof 100 percent so um, one thing that was on my mind we might um, use the eggs actually and maybe set up some some traps for them certain spots um, where they um, you know should uh, track to and then fall into holes and we kill him and this way we keep it clean and we just don't you know encourage them to wander onto the track here it would also be an option because i would like to keep this nice and open and, and because it's gonna look really snazzy you know when we have this all carpeted out and nice i mean this is gonna look really really clean so yeah talking about looking clean and good looks um the shop of the jangler of course looked very very clean and good and yeah we set a trap and yeah i think the honey pot worked so check it out here's dachshund <laughs> scooby <laughs> and sherlock green and the mystery of the jangler so we laid the trap for the jangler the other day it's been two days or three days let's see if somebody <laughs> actually bought the cookies <laughs> we don't know if the jangler did it i mean but did we make some money <laughs> okay um we're sold out but i can see no sign or anything hmm maybe that plan backfired what are you doing up there Come down. If Doc Sherlock, said, huh? don't ask any questions. If Sherlock shows up and sees you up there on his shelves, he will be mad. 
You think I can sit in this stool in the meantime? Look, check me I'm out. I'm getting a bird's eye view. Oh, Ooh. wait, wait. <clears throat> Business face on, Doxon. Yes. <clears throat> Man, this this doorbell. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, they're there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh. Uh. Oh, I'm not Sherlock. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just you know, avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. <laughs> One second. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, oh. that's better. <laughs> Look at him. Well, hello. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hello, sir. Back to business, Doxon and Scooby-Doo. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Good, sir. I've embraced right. my identity. So what's going on? What's happened? What's the development? Did he did he fall for the, the trap? Well, we sold. Question is, nobody left. Yeah, I'll show you. Come on. We sold. All right, let's go. Yeah, right. We sold out, yep. pretty much. But there, I didn't find any hint, uh, you know, who was the buyer. No clue. I mean, it's just sold out, pretty much. That's it. Well, that's what we wanted. Yeah, well, but how do we... I mean, great. Now we made diamonds. Still don't know who the Jenga <laughs> is. I mean, good plan, yeah. Holmes. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten rich, but we haven't really solved the crime. Uh, so. But we have. We uh, have solved the, solved the crime. Honestly, he what? took the bait, but the diamonds were not what we were after. Although I, I guess we could share these diamonds. Um, no, actually, actually, I'll take the diamonds. Um, um, uh, anyway... Uh, yeah. Well, what we've got here mm. is not just 27 diamonds. What we have here is conclusive evidence that I know who the Jangler is. And I've been suspicious of it ever since we went to the Flying Cookie. Huh. Okay? Is it Puffy? <laughs> no. Uh. And I, I, I'm going to do a big reveal for you, okay? You ready for this? We're going to go through all of the clues and hints that have led me to this conclusion, and then I will see what you think. So let me take us back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. At the start, the Jangler returned the diamonds, which is a good deed, which led me to believe that this was a good person at heart. Mm. Then okay. that led us to the second Jangle, which mm -hmm. was a flying cookie, as we all remember, with the red herring of leading you to stress. What interested me wasn't actually the riddle or anything like that. It was the way that the cookie was built. It used so many slabs and staircases really, mm. really well. That was a beautiful yes. flying cookie. And it's yes. not the same style that Stress would use. Mm. Yes. But it was well lit, which threw me off a little bit. But okay. then we had another jangle. The jangler shop appeared and he left a clue in my office with a Peter Pan reference by the exit. Yeah, so that was hilarious. Was great. Potentially yeah. a Disney fan. Oh. Then we went down into the jing Jangler shop and it was well built this time, not well lit. And yeah. by this point, I'm nearly 99% sure I know who it is. But then, as you know, we laid this trap. And to prove that this was a trap, here's a little clip of us talking about it, or at least me telling these two what it was. Hmm. Before we make this cookie shop, guys, I have a theory, and it's just that, a theory. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking we do is that we don't put this particular part in the video because the jangler is 100% watching our videos, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So here's the real plan. When Ooh. we make this cookie shop, we're going to make it terribly. We're going to make a really awful build because I have a suspicion who it is. Mm -hmm. And if they change some of the build or the surrounding area, I will be uh, absolutely sure who it is. And then we can confront them. And I'm not going to put it by you guys because I know that you're just going to go straight for him and it might be, it might be wrong. What? So, okay. <laughs> So the whole point was that this cookie wasn't supposed to be about getting diamonds at all. Uh -huh. We intentionally, or I intentionally, made sure that this lawn here was pretty awful. Oh, because I knew, 
I knew yeah. that if Good Times with Scar was the jangler and he came here with the diamonds, he would not be able to help himself but fix it because we plonked this at Cherry on purpose because I believed it was mm -hmm. Good Times with the jangler. Wow. Elementary Ooh, deodoxin. Elementary Scooby Doo. You're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. That makes perfect Does... sense. Does that all make sense in the end? I mean, that literally just blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. I feel so <laughs> Can stupid. I get one of those cookies? I'm, I'm kind of hungry after all of that, to yeah. be honest. Uh, wow. So I'm now 100% oh. sure this is conclusive evidence uh -huh. that it was Scar the whole time. Nice. And Scar is the game. Us. And it makes sense because Scar's such a good guy. He wouldn't be yeah. doing some bad pranks. Of course he's going to give cookies to us. Yeah. And he gave our diamonds back to us, and... Exactly, so oh, this is man. really awkward, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think he probably just, uh, he just wanted to return the diamonds. Hmm. Yeah, I blame you, Doc. So wait, <laughs> what? Me? What did I do? <laughs> Exist? Doxin and Dogson, I think we've done it. I think this shouts, Jangler, if I ever saw a Jangler. What do you yes. think? It's beautiful. Well, by we, you mean you. Yeah, I mean, Doxen okay, I to be these. <laughs> Ren watched Doc made the, the, the concrete for me, but <laughs> it, I, I think this is absolutely brilliant. I got green yeah. dye. Come on, man. <laughs> the only issue is that it looks great from here, and I think this is probably where we need to talk to Scar, because if you, um, if you fly yes. around... There's it doesn't look that great from the rest of the angles. <laughs> it doesn't yes. look great at all. The green one is flopping in the kind of wrong direction. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a strong breeze coming from the back, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it only looks good from this little netherport island here. But uh, uh, it's so difficult to make this sort of thing look good from all angles. So, yeah, as long as we talk to Scar from here, I think this is great. So now we've just got to wait for him to, to see it. And then he, he's going to know what's up like like that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> ha. Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Uh, and Dog, how, how are you all doing? Good. Yeah, yeah there's Jelly right here. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Uh -huh. Have Hello. you seen... Yeah. Have you seen mm -hmm. this? You seen yeah, that? yeah. Jeez, I guess the jangler was around, huh? <laughs> Look familiar? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even that Jelly knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she busted me! She busted me! Even my own cat! Yep. Are you the jangler, Scar? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I <know. laughs> Sherlock Green, you cracked the case, buddy. Hey, we did oh, it. we did it. Genius. We did it. Amazing. Yeah, it ain't bad, though. You know, Scar, I mean, honestly, bro, you sh should have just told me you got the diamonds, man. <laughs> we we yeah. got again into this craziness. Last time, it escalated into a war. Like, this time, it's only Jester head. So, come on, man. I was yeah. trying to avoid the war, Doc. I was trying to avoid it. Yes, Scar, man. I would like to commend you on your amazing clues. They were very smart. Yeah. And Doxon and I, we we struggled, but Sherlock Green cracked a number of them. So and, wait, what, what yeah. was it? Was it actually a typo? Yeah, we all <laughs> want to know. We all want to know. Was this a plan, or did you actually just mess up and write the jangler? I mean, I mean, I could say it was a plan and feel good about myself, but I'd be lying. I'd be lying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was an awesome adventure, though, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, it certainly was. I ended did you, up did you enjoy the cookies? The scar, oh, man, the yeah, the cookies were the best. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I've ended up being the Scooby-Doo of the group, and uh, uh -huh. I think it's only appropriate that we take the meme to its full closure. Oh, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> would you please put this on? There you go. Ah. Yeah. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do it. So. Okay. <clears throat> It wasn't Etho the whole time. It was good times with the Jangler. What? <laughs> it was Scar And I could have got it, could have gone away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids and dog. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there's mm. payment involved? Well, yeah. I didn't start this shop to just for fun. I uh -huh. Diamonds, I'm poor. I, I thought we were just hanging out as mates, you know? Just as buddies, man. Hmm. 
How much do you want? Mm. What's the what's the damage? What was it? How the long damage. did it take me to solve this case? <sighs> A week? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. 64 Listen. diamonds, and we'll call it even. You got your diamonds back from Scar? 64 diamonds. Here, take half of that, Ren, and yeah, we can pay him. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've, okay. Here we go. There we go. That, that's all my profits for the week gone. Rip. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Definitely worth it, though. Give me, give me, give me fake diamonds. What? Fake? Give me fake diamonds. <laughs> you think I can't read? Look at this. Diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah, have some more. Have some more. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't. I don't deal in counterfeit. I don't right. deal in counterfeit diamonds. Deal done. Deal done. Yeah. Thanks, Sherlock Green. It's been real. We'll yeah. smell you. No. Uh, we'll smell you later, dude. See you. Smell you later, no. my dude. See you. Give Bye. me real diamonds. <laughs> See you later. I want real diamonds. I'll get you. Don't. Don't you. Don't you even. You. You come back here. Uh, it's a good time to pitch my you just died Schalke box to you. <laughs> oh. You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Let's get some real diamonds. Seriously, though, Sherlock Green, thanks, my dude, for solving the case. We we were just pulling your leg on the diamonds. Yeah, yeah. Man. Take take these take these fake diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, nice. I've got a little bit of a gift for you to thank you for the, the solving the crime for us, my dude. Here you go. Yeah? This is for you. Enjoy. <gasps> Puffy. Your very oh, own fish. Yeah. Do with him what you will. I think I, I should put him in here. Yeah, that that'll 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 do very nicely. He'll be very happy in there. But uh, yeah, that was really fun. Thank you, G, for a wonderful little mystery. And oh, uh, Puffy's well, now got a wonderful little home. Nice. The case has been solved. Good times with Scar has been outed as the jangler. Yep. Do, you, do you think he's going to continue being the jang? Probably not, right? Like <laughs> he was. Know. You know, dum, I, dum, dum. It's not really a secret anymore, is it? Yeah, Only but, time will you tell. Know, I saw Suzuma going to his shop and actually placing an order, so I guess he's in <laughs> yeah. business now. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, G, we're gonna chill out, G, Green. We're gonna love and leave you. We got some diamonds to burn, my dude. Mm. Yeah. What? So why are you burning diamonds? Uh, uh, we don't want to talk about it. Well, they, right. don't even ask. It's right. it's just bye. sad. But, Come but again. Bye. 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 So Doc, we promised we'd burn half a stack of diamonds for accusing stress monster. Mm -mm. So here you go. There's, I mean, it was a stack of diamonds each, I believe it was. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, you know, the viewers, they wanted the burnage and they got it. Rip diamonds. Goodbye, all the profits. Doc, my mm. friend, it's back to eating beans and toast for you and me, my dude. It's, yeah, uh, man. You know, we but got at the least diamonds. we solved the crime. <laughs> yeah, but for what price? I mean, we lost half of our diamonds we've recovered. So we're pretty much back to zero, bro. Yeah. Does anybody want to buy some stocks? Or some logs? Mm. Or some tridents? Anybody? Yeah. Hello? Help? Hello? A no. Anyone? A anyone? <laughs> so, yeah. I hope... You guys enjoyed this little storyline. I uh, mean, I have a great time coming up with little, little fun storylines like that, and yeah, just to have some fun with things. And it was glorious. Um, the mystery of the jangler, Sherlock Green, Dachshund, and Scooby Doo. So I hope you enjoyed this one too, guys. Uh, I see you very, very soon. I think next episode will be the dirty deeds, thunder cheap episode. So until then, bye guys! <laughs>